High School graduating class of 2022.
Before we get started with tonight's ceremony, I would like everyone to please take their cell phone out and turn their ringer off. Also, please refrain from behaviors that should only be deemed acceptable at sporting venues. Outbursts of cheering, shouting, or whistling detract from the dignity this event these graduates deserve. That said, welcome to the 91st commencement ceremony of Lakeview High School. It's an honor to be principal of Lakeview High School. Over the past 15 years as an administrator at Lakeview High School, it has been my privilege to be a part of the education of the students that are here before us today. The class scored an SAT composite that placed them fifth in Macomb County out of 28 high schools, as well as a 65% proficiency rating on the evidence-based reading and writing portion of the SAT, which placed them second in the county. A true testament to their talent, commitment, and fortitude. Similarly, they have amassed over 1,390 college credits through our Baker College, Macomb Community College, and Wayne State University programs, along with well over a million dollars in scholarship and award money. I'm very proud of the accomplishments of this group of leaders, art artists, athletes, and scholars. Graduates, Congratulations, your academic drive has paid off. All of our staff at Lakeview Public Schools have worked very hard to prepare each and every one of our students for the next phase of their journey in life, regardless of their chosen path. The administration and staff of Lakeview Public Schools wish them all great success in their lives and careers. I would now like to recognize the many distinguished guests that we are here with us today. The Lakeview Public Schools Board of Education President, Daniel Dombrowski. <laughs> Vice President, Benjamin Miners. <laughs> Secretary, Robin Martin. <laughs> Treasurer, Michael Baer. Trustees, Donald Wheaton, Jr. and Peter Asha, Jr. For our Lakeview Central Office staff, Carl Paulson, Superintendent. Tracy Van Piren, Deputy Superintendent. Devin DePero, Director of Student Services. Laura Woods, Director of Curriculum and MTSS Coordinator. And Sean Zaborowski, Director of Athletics and Operations. From Jefferson Middle School, Principal David Lavender. Assistant Principal Jason Townsend. Dean of Students, Tina McNeely. From our elementary school principals, Chris Hahn, Ardmar Elementary. Greg Cedar, Harmon Elementary. Justin Cabe, Princeton Elementary. Cheryl Niehaus, Greenwood Elementary. Michelle Anderson, Dean of Students. Jessa Panicella, Director of Preschool Education and Latchkey. From LHS Administration, High School Assistant Principals, Heather Huber. And Jennifer Zaborowski. The Class of 2022, excuse me, sponsors, Natalie Bowen. and Kelly Boone. And last but not least, our graduation guest speaker, Lakeview High School, class of 2009, Dr. Emily schmidt Matson.
Now, would all the outstanding Lakeview Public School teachers that are here with us tonight please rise and be recognized. The students before us today have unquestionably had the support of their parents or guardians getting to this point. The importance of this support cannot be underestimated and should be recognized. Will the parents, guardians, please rise and be recognized? And finally, will all the Lakeview High School alumni please rise and be recognized? <laughs> to announce today's graduation awards is Lakeview Public Schools School Board President, Mr. Dan Dombrowski. Thank you, Mr. Kapla. On behalf of the Lakeview Public Schools Board of Education, I'd like to welcome all to this evening's Class of 2022 commencement, Lakeview's 91st commencement. Traditions are an important part of any organization, and in schools, the tradition of graduation is a particularly moving and uplifting event. This is a time when we, as school board members, administrators, teachers, support staff, parents, and families applaud the academic, athletic, artistic, musical, and social accomplishments of each of you. This particular class especially, is especially talented as we saw May 18th in the number of scholarships and awards that were presented. Graduation also gives us the opportunity to celebrate the many fine accomplishments of individual members of the class of 2022. While these honors are given to individuals, all honors reflect on the quality of the entire class. I know that you celebrate with me as we recognize the following eight individuals for their outstanding achievements, noting that the first seven awards are considered of equal ranking and the eighth award the Robert, Arch, Robert H. Shoblin Award is considered the top award. From the top, we'll start with the Balfour Award. This is the oldest of our awards. The recipient's names date back to 1962 on three of the Balfour plaques we can find. The missing plaque predates the 1960s. A plaque to be presented at commencement to the senior that was voted on by the faculty based on service and scholarship. The 2022 recipient of the Belfort Award is Isabella Elsie. Next we have is the Richard Black Award. First awarded in 1970, this plaque is presented to the senior that was voted on by the faculty based upon leadership, athleticism, and scholarship. The 2022 recipient of the Richard Black Award is Ethan Gates.
Next, we have the Honor Award. Initially awarded in 1962, a plaque to be presented at commencement to the senior that was voted on by the faculty based on leadership, service, and scholarship. The 2022 recipient of the Honor Award is Ellie Belmore. Next we have, the, we have is the Co-Ed Service Award. This award was first presented in 1962. A plaque to be presented at commencement to the senior that was voted on by the faculty based on character, service, and scholarship. The 2022 recipient of the Co-Ed Service Award is Fariel Jamil. Next, we have is the Christine Neiman Award. This award, award originated in 1963, named in honor of a former math and Latin teacher who was a member of one of St. Clair Shore's original families. Neiman Street was named after this family. A plaque to be presented at commencement to the senior that was voted on by the faculty based upon character and scholarship. The 2022 recipient of the Christine Neiman Award is Shea Tackett. Next, we have is the William Shrigley Civic School Award. Mr. Shrigley was a member of the Lakeview Board of Education. In 2008, his family made an endowment to the Alumni Association providing professional development money to a teacher and the Shrigley Award to a senior who has demonstrated leadership and scholarship. The 2022 recipient of the William Shrigley Civic School Award is Christine Cranford. Next, we have is the Ian Smith Award. Mr. Ian Smith Sr. is a former Lakeview Education Board President. A plaque to be presented at commencement to the senior that was voted on by the faculty based upon leadership, service, and scholarship. The 2022 recipient of the Ian Smith Award is Noah Richendaller.
find my stash here. And last, we have the Robert H. Shoblin Award. Mr. Robert H. Shoblin served honorably as Lakeview High School principal from 1951 to 1978. He also served the district as superintendent of schools. This plaque is awarded to the most outstanding senior as voted on by the faculty. Criteria for this award, character, leadership, service, and scholarship. This honor has been awarded to our top senior since 1967. The 2022 recipient of the Robert H. Shoblin Award is Stella Mulrennan. And one final comment on behalf of the Lakeview Public Schools Board of Education. We have a member of this board who has been uh, a staunch supporter of this district for 28 years. And he announced earlier this year that he will be uh, not running again for his seat on the Lakeview Public Schools Board of Education. So I'd just like to uh, recognize Mr. Donald Wheaton and thank him for all of his years of service here at Lakeview Public Schools. Thank you, Mr. Dombrowski. Congratulations to the award winners. A tremendous accomplishment indeed. Another round of applause, please. Thank you. Tonight, the Lakeview Select Choir will be performing Irish Blessings under the direction of Mrs. Jody Thompson.
Thank you, Select Choir. Let's give them another round of applause, please. That was awesome. They always do a great job, always. Lakeview High School is proud to be a National Honor Society member school. NHS students must maintain a 3.5 GPA, perform 48 hours of community service, 18 of which are in the form of tutoring, 18 hours of honor service, and another 12 large-scale service projects like cleanups. This year, NHS donated $3,500 to the Capuchin Soup Kitchen. Similarly, they donated hundreds of canned goods to the St. Clair Shores Goodfellow Canned Food Drive. Yearly, NHS volunteers at Forgotten Harvest, Motor City Mitten Mission, the Nautical Mile Cleanup, and the St. Clair Shores Drain Stenciling for the St. Clair Shores Environmental Committee. They are all bound by the NHS standard of character, leadership, scholarship, and service. And tonight we have 36 NHS members graduating. Could all of the NHS students who are seated on stage please rise and be recognized. Thank you for your commitment and service to the Lakeview community. The selfless work that these students do is truly inspiring. Next, the class of 2022 has 24 students before you today who are wearing a gold pendant. They are being recognized for their accomplishments as graduating with highest honors. These students earned a minimum of 3.75 GPA have earned proficient on all MME endorsements and have taken at least two advanced placement courses. Would all of the students graduating with highest honors please stand and be recognized for all your accomplishments. The class of 2022 has 58 silver pendant recipients. Silver pendants signify a student graduating with honors. These students completed the required courses for graduation, maintained a GPA of 3.5 or better, and have earned at least two proficient endorsements on the Michigan Merit Exam. All students graduating with honors, please stand. Lakeview High School's Class of 2022 Salutatorian is Zachary Graham. <laughs> Zach is the son of Natalie and Steve. At Lakeview, Zach earned all academic MAC honors, was the president of the Butcher MMSTC Math Club, and was a two-time state finalist on the varsity swim team. In addition, Zach will be attending the University of Michigan Ann Arbor in the fall and will major in neuroscience. Ladies and gentlemen, Zachary Graham. Wanted to get a breath, prepare myself. All right, hi, I'm Zach Graham. Most of you know me as that one kid who won't stop talking. You know, the one with the dashing good looks. I'm gonna start this speech with some thank yous. I'd like to thank my parents for their continued support. I, on behalf of the senior class, we'd like to thank all parents and guardians for getting us to this day. I'd like to thank all the teachers at the MMSTC program for their individualized attention and support. As the class of 2022, we would like to thank all the teachers at Lakeview High School who have made a lasting impact on not only our academic careers, but also our lives. We would also like to give a shout out to all the people who support the many clubs and teams here at Lakeview. Finally, we thank all the administration and staff 
that keep Lakeview a productive and safe learning environment. We are grateful for the additional opportunities that you have made possible. Now on to the speech. Hope is a simple concept. It is believing that tomorrow will be better than today. It doesn't matter what happens tomorrow. What matters is having the hope. Now, there are two ways to approach hope. Firstly, there's luck. Thinking that tomorrow will somehow magically be better than today is a life choice. Some days you'll be correct, and some days you won't. Luck is immune to concepts like deserve or fair. Luck is unpredictable. Therefore, it may not be your best option if you want to ensure things get better. In fact, there's only one way to guarantee things will improve. It is a way that is hard to define and even harder to execute. You have to get up every morning and make tomorrow a better day. Ignore fair and deserve and luck. It is hope through action, hope through sheer will. You decide to use all of your skills and all of your effort to make lemonade out of the lemons that come your way. Now there have been three times the lottery has passed a billion dollars. 2016, 2018, and 2021. In 2016, there were 1,810 billionaires in the world. In 2022, there were 2,268 billionaires. That is, quick math, 858 people that have become billionaires since the first lottery crossed the billion dollar mark. Statistically, you're way more likely to be a self-made billionaire than relying on luck. Hope by luck leaves us unsure. Okay. <laughs> Hope by luck leaves us unsure and uncertain. Which is why, at this unsure and uncertain time in our lives, I implore you to continue to take action. <laughs> continue to take action and take control in your lives. The lighting system agrees with me. <laughs> Do you hate math? Good. There are jobs out there where you never have to touch a number again. Ask your English teacher when the last time they used the quadratic theorem was. Don't like your boss? Great. Figure out a way to be your own. Tired of being alone, so is every other lonely person. Find one. The ultimate solution is action. Are we going to make mistakes? Yes. Are we going to end up at an obstacle we don't know how to surmount? Absolutely. Good thing YouTube has instructional videos. The most important thing when you don't know what to do or where to go is to take the first step. Now, I'm a numbers guy, if you couldn't tell. The only way to increase the odds of your dreams coming true is to not leave things to chance. It is to bend those odds in your favor. I am a proud member of the class of 2022, and I am excited to see where those next steps will take us. Thank you. It is always great to be a Husky. Thank you, Zach. Another round of applause for Zach. Great speech. Thank you. The valedictorian of the class of 2022 is Nolan Richendaller. Nolan is the youngest of two siblings and the son of Margaret and Melvin. At Lakeview, Nolan earned all academic MAC honors and was selected to the all-academic MAC Dream Team, the top 20 students in Macomb County. Nolan was also a member of the varsity football team for two years as well. Nolan will be attending Lawrence Tech University in the fall and will major in mechanical engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Nolan Richendaller.
Good evening, family, friends, esteemed faculty and staff, venerated administrators, and my fellow graduating class of 2022. I'm honored to stand before you today to give this commencement address. There are a great number of you out there just as qualified to give this speech as I am. In fact, I would say that all graduating seniors are just as qualified as I am. Why is that? The simple answer is that none of us know precisely what lies ahead, including myself. As such, this will not be a long anecdotal speech detailing my supposed wisdom. Instead, I'd like to focus mainly on the ever-important and omnipresent future. To avoid the topic of the future would be to defy the very definition of the word commencement. But first, a reflection and recognition is in order. I'd like to thank my family for always being there when I needed them the most. Thank you, Mr. Threat, for your stern yet forgiving method of molding individuals into better versions of themselves inside the classroom and outside. Thank you, Mr. Oster, for loving America, being willing to stand up for what you believe in. Thank you, Ms. Barber, for drilling the midpoint formula into our tiny freshman and sophomore brains. Thank you, Mr. Burnett, for reminding us to say yes to the essay. Thank you, Ms. Culver, for always showing up at 7.30 a.m. with an agreeableness that for a long time was thought impossible by scientists and researchers. On the contrary, I'd like to thank Mr. Harrod Saris for always showing up with the agreeableness of a rhinoceros. I'm just kidding. Of course, a big thank you also goes out to the counselors, custodians, lunch workers, teaching assistants, bus drivers, maintenance workers, COVID coordinators, and everyone else who has worked tirelessly and often without sufficient praise to ensure our collective success. Today, as we step forward out of the halls of Lakeview High School and onto Main Street, we're entering a new phase in life. As with any new phase, we must learn to adapt. Albert Einstein once said, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. Be willing to adapt. As anyone here can tell you, adaptation is frightening. Humans are hardwired to avoid it. A useful way of conceptualizing this is as Newton's first law of laziness. A mind at rest stays at rest, and a mind at motion stays in motion unless acted upon by a net outside force. In this way, just like every great moment in sports has occurred because of a net outside force acting on a ball, causing it to change its direction and or speed. Every great achievement of humanity has been a product of an outside force acting on a mind, causing it to change the way it thinks. Recall Mahatma Gandhi it was the British caste system, not the outside force that caused him to summons up the courage and strength needed to stand firm against the most powerful empire in the world and win. What was Lincoln's outside force? How about Steve Jobs or Katherine Johnson's? The point is, let's not be afraid of the unknown. Let's not be afraid of forging a new path. Now is not the time for apprehension. It's a time for action and a time for boldness. As we exit high school, we'll decide what we want to do. And remember, there's dignity in all work. We'll be tomorrow's doctors, lawyers, engineers, electricians, nurses, plumbers, teachers, police officers, accountants, superintendents, soldiers, dishwashers, bankers, and firefighters. Fellow graduates, we are America's future, whether we like it or not. We have been entrusted with the fate of a 245-year-old republic. It's up to us to be confident in our abilities, but also humble on our journeys to make this nation and the world a better place. Like I said at the beginning of the speech, I'm no more qualified to tell you about the real world than any other graduate in the room. Hopefully, though, after the speech is concluded, we all will come away with a cognitive framework to guide us in dealing with it. I'm proud of this class. It's one that had to deal with its fair share of hardships. I'm proud of our grit. I'm even more proud to say that I graduated from Lakeview High School alongside some of the finest people I've ever met. Thank you for your time and congratulations to everyone. Thank you, Nolan. Great speech. Another round of applause for Nolan, please. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce the superintendent of Lakeview Public Schools, Mr. Carl Paulson. Fantastic, huh? 
It's really good to be back in this beautiful place and not outside in the parking lot. Good evening for, to everyone and thank you for attending this important event. Our Board of Education, Administration, staff, and special guests are pleased you're here. Seniors, you made it. Today we are proud of you. Parents and families, you made it. <laughs> and today we are pleased for you. Faculty, you made it happen. And I'm relieved for you. Many from our senior class have been decorated with academic accolades and honors. Many are success in athletics, band, orchestra, clubs, other extracurriculars. We've got great art in the hallway from some of the seniors. However, those accomplishments are a reflection of what you have done. You live this year as seniors, and later you will walk off the stage and out those doors and you will be graduates. As you leave tonight, each of you will be challenged to do much more. The challenges you face are what makes life interesting. Overcoming those challenges is what will make your life meaningful. You've overcome one big challenge and our celebration today gives it meaning. So now my single, simple words of wisdom, your future seniors is just starting to be created. What you make of it as a future graduate is up to you. I challenge you to make the most of it. I'll say it again, the challenges you will face are what makes life interesting. Overcoming those challenges is what will make life meaningful. Keep getting an education. No matter what you choose to do, no matter how fast or slow you choose to do it, keep getting an education. Education is the great equalizer. Pay for it now, it will pay you back later. You can be the one who becomes the next business owner, teacher, marine hero, lawyer, pastor, doctor, police officer, or CDC epidemic intelligence officer. You must be the engines of our future economy. I know with what you've learned at Lakeview, you're prepared for a world with endless opportunity. Later, you get to begin that journey, and I know you will make all of us proud. Congratulations, you made it. I also have the pleasure of introducing our guest speaker. Her journey began as a 2009 graduate of Lakeview. To put everything in context and give parents, family, and our staff a chance to reflect, let's all think back to 2008 and 2009 when young Emily, an excellent high school student, crossed this stage. Here are a few things of note in those years. Mr. Harrit Saris and Mr. Spano still had hair. <laughs> the country celebrated the election of the first African American president when a young Barack Obama beat seasoned politician John McCain by over 10 million votes. The United States had several bad months of economic activity leading to one of the worst recessions in U.S. and world history. Music played on the popular new iPod device from Apple included songs like, she hit the floor, gotta get low, 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 low. 
Florida, huh? Or gotta get back, gotta get get. Boom, boom, bow. Boom, boom, bow. Black eyed peas, anyone? That's not food for those of you that, yeah. A number of female singers top the charts. Lady Gaga, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, Miley Cyrus, Young Emily, watch, time, watch t TV, the wildly popular shows Dancing with the Stars or American Idol. Movies that came out in 2008-9, they're still popular today. Iron Man, Slumdog Millionaire, some of the families remember that one. Star Trek, The Dark Knight. Unfortunately for Michigan State, North Carolina beat them in the NCAA basketball tournament championship game. The loss hurt a little bit more because the final game was played in Detroit at Ford Field in March 29, 2009. And speaking of field, Ford Field, the Detroit Lions celebrated their 75th year in the NFL by not winning a single game. <laughs> About this time of year in 2009, the Detroit Red Wings lost to the Pittsburgh Penguins in game seven of the Stanley Cup Finals. Detroit was expected to repeat their victory from 2008. Despite less than a 500 season, a couple of 26-year-old Tigers, Justin Verlander, 19 and nine, and Miguel Cabrera, a 324 batting average and 34 home runs, solidified their place in Major League All-Star history. The technology standard we see today started quickly in 2008-9 with expanding interest in this thing called a smartphone. This computer you could hold in your hand, right? The F-Series Ford trucks continued to be the best-selling vehicle sold in North America. Chevy introduced a small new car that's kind of popular today with students, the crews. Lakeview High School had a new track and a new turf field installed in the summer of 2008. The main office was under construction and new lockers greeted the students in the fall of 2008. So a full complement of sports, clubs, and musical options like band and orchestra, of course, were activities that kept students involved. And Emily schmitz Matson made a few laps on the track during her years at LHS, because she ran track and cross country. Not just NHS, but French Honor Society. Parlez-vous Francais, Emily? <laughs> oh yeah, Stuart Photography, they handled many senior pictures. And they're still here today, taking pictures for more than 50 years. And by the way, gas in January of 2009, $1.84 a gallon. <laughs> anyway, in 2009, when gas was around two bucks and Lady Gaga was singing Poker Face on the radio, this bright young lady, Emily, finished her career as a Husky and made her plans to attend Michigan State University that fall. She earned a bachelor's degree in microbiology and molecular genetics, which helped her continue right into graduate school, earning both a master's in public health and a doctor of veterinary medicine. This scientific background has provided Dr. schmitz matson many varying career opportunities since leaving LHS. She's worked as a lab tech while in college, she also served as a veterinarian in a couple of Michigan clinics. However, more recently, she's been involved in scientific work for the government. 
Dr. Schmitz-Matzen currently serves as an epidemic intelligence officer for the Center for Disease Control, where she's assigned as a collaborator with the Florida Department of Public Health. Her job tasks include working with various health agencies, medical providers, and nonprofits. She conducts experiments, analyzes disease outbreak infection data to assist agencies in making public health decisions. Over the past several years, she authored a number of public health articles and studies for professional journals and has presented to peers at professional conferences. Please join me in thanking Dr. Schmitz-Matzen for coming back to Lakeview to share a few thoughts and in welcome here to the microphone. Dr. Matzen. Hello, thanks for that introduction. So, hello Lakeview 2022 graduates. It's an honor to be standing in front of you today because I know each and every one of you have overcome great obstacles to be here. Your high school experience was unlike anyone else's before you, and yet you stayed committed to showing up, even if it was virtually, to make it here today. Your hard work, flexibility, and resilience is inspiring. And now there are so many possibilities for, for all of you. Remember that even if it does not always seem like it during your journey ahead. Just by making it to the stage today, you have shown one of the most valuable assets to success, the ability to persevere when faced with unforeseen challenges. In 2009, I too sat in this auditorium and graduated from Lakeview. Although my experience was more traditional, it's here at Lakeview I was able to practice the ability to continue when things got difficult and get up after falls. Thanks to the staff, teachers, and friends I made here, I was able to learn from mistakes and get back up and try again. Now I know this is what served me the most after graduation. People like to talk about their successes. However, I think we do a disservice to ourselves and others when we do not reflect on failures, rejections, and unpl unplanned twists in the road that come with any achievement. I personally have encountered many times I wanted to quit because things did not go as planned. Right after Lakeview, I went to Michigan State University, go green. <laughs> and while there, I found myself in a new place with new people and I was unsure how I would fit in. I also had a hard time adjusting to a different style of learning. I wanted to come home, but thanks to my parents' encouragement, I was able to keep trying and I slowly made new friends and figured out a study schedule that worked for me. By the end of the first semester, I loved MSU and I couldn't imagine going anywhere else. I stayed there for eight years, finishing a degree in microbiology, training to be a veterinarian, and studying public health. During these eight years, there were a lot of challenges to overcome. Sometimes I struggled in a class, or did there did not seem like enough hours in the day to finish what I needed. Sometimes I got rejected from a job or an opportunity I wanted. After veterinary school, I wanted to go into public health to study diseases that spread between animals and humans. But this is a difficult field to get into, and it took me three years of doing other veterinary work and exploring countless options before I was able to make that possible. Although it was hard, I'm happy and proud of where I am today, and I could not have made it with all the lessons along the way and the family and friends who supported me. Over the years, I have learned that to be successful at anything, whether that's college, starting a business, learning a new skill, or building a family, you are always going to encounter obstacles and fall or stumble at times. It is not if, it is when but it is the getting up after the fall that counts. You and I have learned this at Lakeview, but I wanted to reiterate three things that seem to help the most in the getting back up. First, find your people, the ones who understand you, 
stand by you through thick and thin, and have a good sense of humor you appreciate. Those who want you to be the best version of yourself. Hopefully you have found some already between family and friends. There are, these are the people who will celebrate your accomplishments, but who will also be there to reach out to when you're sad, frustrated, or tired. Without a support system you feel comfortable to share with, the road ahead will be harder. Be there for these people and their struggles and trust them enough to share yours and tell them you appreciate them often. Remember, no one accomplishes big things alone. Second, understand that any rejection is just a redirection. Although it hurts, it gives you time to think and formulate a new plan that may eventually be even better than the first, even if it takes a little longer. I've been rejected from certain jobs and opportunities I thought were the best path for me, and in having to adjust, find solutions, and pursue other opportunities, I've learned a lot about myself, gained new skills, and met amazing people. So whenever rejection happens, take the time you need to be sad, talk with your people, and think of a plan B, or even a plan C, D, or E. And know there are many, many paths that will get you where you want to be eventually. Don't be discouraged if someone tells you otherwise. Third, know mixed in with the hard things, you will have so many accomplishments. I encourage you to celebrate and appreciate each one however small. It took me far too long to realize that it helps to pause and congratulate myself and others for successes big and small. Congratulate yourself when you get a good grade or evaluation, get offered a job, save enough to get yourself something you've wanted for a long time, or finish a task you dislike, but you did it anyway. Small or large, take some time to appreciate the good things and your effort, even if things aren't perfect. Do the same for your friends and family. Today, though, we are here to celebrate a huge accomplishment. You all should be extremely proud of yourselves. You have all shown extreme flexibility, determination, and perseverance. I am so excited to see what the future holds for each of you. So without further ado, congratulations to the Lakeview 2022 graduates. Go Huskies. Lakeview would like to present this token of our appreciation to Dr. Emily Schmidt-Matson, class of 2009, for her contribution to today's ceremony. Thank you, Emily. And now, class of 2022, prepare to receive your diploma. Lakeview Board of Education, based on the completion of the requirements for the graduation set forth by the Lakeview Public Schools Board of Education and the State of Michigan, it is with great pleasure that I recommend to you the class of 2022 for their high school diplomas. Seniors, prepare to receive your diplomas.
Nolan Moses Richendaller, highest honors. Zachary Isaac Graham, highest honors. Carrie Lynn Collins. Mackenzie Lynn Brown. Stuart Jacob DeLang. Courtney Jare White. Brooklyn Marie DeRiker. Reese Victoria Mueller. <laughs> Selena Jalen Kowalczyk. Haley Marie Adams, honors. Aiden Kyle Wilson. Dylan Patrick Aleph, highest honors. Rex Allen Aldridge. Mustafa Al Zubaidi. Shania Marie Allen. Gwen Elena Archibald. Avery James Anders Honors. Matthew Lawrence Griner. Kaylee Elizabeth Arnshek. Perry Tyler Arsenault. Jesse James Botts. Isabel Marie Bacon, honors. Timothy Matthew Barnes. <laughs> Abby Lee Bell. Say it again. Shelby Renee Benbow. <laughs> Cohen James Berry, honors. Veronica Delma Bingle Honors. Emma Olympia Bjornsson. Jonathan Robert Blanchard. Caden Orion Bach. Colin Michael Bach. Zachary Adam Boots, honors. Martin Charles Bostock. Haley Wallace Breen. Elaine Hazel Broker. Stephen Anthony Brown. Nathan Dwayne Brownell. Christopher James Busina. Devin Emmanuel Buckles.
Zachary Evan Camargo. Nicole Ray Canton, honors. Thank you. Maria Annalisa Capanda. Wade Kenneth Carlton. Julia Denise Carpenter. Jack Albert Carr Honors. Cameron Christina Faye Carter. Renata Maylin Cartwright. J. Sean Nicholas Car Clark. <laughs> Alec John Corrado. Costa or Costa? Costa. Jesse Ryan Costa. <laughs> Ryan Daniel Cover. Philip H. Cox, the third. Christine Adriana Cranford, highest honors. Nicholas Onshu Crawley. Nina Fallon Crawley, highest honors. Brianna Christine Swick, honors. Yep. Margaret Kelly Phi Daly, highest honors. Dade Darris Daniels. <laughs> Jacob Edward Danner. Nathan Alexander Davy. <laughs> Preston Connor Dawson. <laughs> Maisie Lee DeBose. <laughs> Brendan Michael DeFilippi. Connor Matthew DeGrice. <laughs> Emilio Antonio De La Cruz, honors. <laughs> James Aishel Dairymaker. <laughs> Brendan Edgar Derwin. Natalie Rita Dara. Jennifer Emily Marie Dust, honors. Tyler Anthony Dockhorn. Casey Rose Dostein. Parker Ryan Engel, honors. Victoria Patricia Esparza. Atara Verlaine Eubanks. Noah Ramsey Fakori. Riley Page Fissat. <laughs> Janaya Denise Lachelle Flowers. <laughs> Daniel Richard Fox. <laughs> Ar 
Alora Faith Frontera Honors. Ava Marie Frontera. Bella Noel Frost. Hayden Gregory Gankus, highest honors. Georgia Elizabeth Garcia. Alexa Nicole Garofolo. Angelita Maria Garza. Austin James Glaboski. Andrew Jacob Glefke. Austin David Goichai. Nicholas Patrick Goldie, honors. Alexander Dorian Golett. Carmine Julian Gonzalez. Salima Bahadi Good. Mackenzie Lee Granger. Stephen Rick Guerreri. Kayvon Keenan Hale. Jada Christine Hall. Jennifer Lynn Hamilton. George Edwin Hammond II. Raymond Joseph Hancock Jr. Adam Loy Hargis. Caden Michael Harwood. Nicholas James Hayworth. Alexander Houston Heine. Taya Gail Her honors. <laughs> Laura Eve Higginbotham. <laughs> Nathan William Hill. <laughs> Austin Richard Hill's highest honors. Julian Deshaun Holt. <laughs> Cortez Howard. <laughs> Maya DeVay Huff. <laughs> Devin Keith Humphrey. Sean Allen Hunter, honors. Nicholas Wayne Jacobs. Amaya Sarah Johnson. Marianne Devante Johnson. Willie Devon Johnson, Jr. I made it. 
Alec James Karczewski. Evan James Karalski. Maya Catherine Kidder, highest honors. Sierra Mackenzie Rose Kurt. Gabriella Maria Kluge. Benjamin Philip Cordy. Jack Richard Corti Honors. Drake Peter Croda. Andon Michael LeBeau. Mackenzie Hope Laramie. Caleb James LeBeck. Samantha Lynn Lank. Kyle Jeffrey LePage. Garrett Michael Lewandowski. William James Lewis. Joseph Thomas Lucido. Emma Rose Lutsky. <laughs> James Michael McCool Jr. Honors. Skyler Ann McPhee. Connor David Mahan. Colin Allen Mall. Cassidy Raylin Mangold. John Daniel Manjo. Matthew Stephen Matuk. Adam Christopher Massimino. <laughs> Abigail Lauren Mazaway. <laughs> Ian Patrick Joseph May. Hey. <laughs> Who do I get it from that guy? Maddox Armand Morocco. Blake Aaron McDonald. David Jacob Medvedic. Isabella Marie McPherson. Donovan James Minano. Sheila Marie Miller. Carmen Antoinette Modestino, honors. Antonio David Mitchell. Alexandria Elizabeth Moore. Annabelle Rosemary Moeller. Angela Mercy Morissette. Gino Joseph Morin. Kevin Eduard Nazarko.
Emma Jo Mo Honors. Carter Joseph Nelson. Joseph Fremont Neff the third. Miranda Marie Novak, highest honors. Mackenzie Lee Nicholas. Colin Patrick O'Connor, honors. Connor Evan Oakley, honors. Ava Irene Ostrowski. Sahaya Jewel Oroshi. Antonio James Parinasan, highest honors. Bridget Grace Euler. Dylan Robert Peterson, highest honors. John Francesco Piccini. Anna Ray Peterman. John Francesco Piccinino. Clayton Richard Peterson, honors. Don Alexander Poor, honors. Drew Lee Petrahowski. Antonino Pietro Raimondo. Rance Javaga Ramon Purry Jr. Mackenzie Ann Rierick. Kayla Elizabeth Ray. Lillian May Marie Ressler. Ella Jane Reedy Honors. Krista Rain Ridgeway Honors. Joel Armand Richardson. Ava Rose Robinson. <laughs> Elliot Boyd Robin Robertson. <laughs> Michael David Rogers, honors. <laughs> Emma Lane Rogers. Casey Ann Marie Sargent. Cheyenne Autumn Serenian. Zoe Marie Scarcella, honors. Star Charlene Marie Shortino, honors. Olivia Ann Spare. Yep. Allison Elizabeth Schaefer. <laughs> Brayden Peter Scharf. Ryan Michael Shorter, highest honors. <laughs> Olivia Rose Siradsky. <laughs> Olivia Rose 
Christopher Brian Simons. Dante Marie Scaria. Sophia May Sloan. Devin Christopher Sluice. Hannah Grace Smalley. Basha Cheyenne Smarczewski. Angelina Jean Smart. Ava Rose Smigelski Honors. Chloe Taylor Smith. Michaela Jean Smith. Ava Brienne Sorensen. Jocelyn Cynthia Louise Spooner. Lily June Stanley. Andrew Michael Staubel. Trevor Jacob Stewart. Jillian Olivia Shailen Stone. James Richard Strait. Amelia Ryan Strong. Riley Steven Struzinski. <laughs> Thomas Anthony Talaferro. <laughs> Elise LaShawn Taylor. <laughs> Chastity Ryan Thiem. Jack Morgan Thompson. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Trzinski. <laughs> Gabriel Sebastian Triplett. Jonathan Clayne Trombley. Yeah. Heaven Jonay Turner. Yeah. Joshua Patrick Lewis Turner. <laughs> Christian Maurice Van Colley. Brandon Allen Wharf. <laughs> Kyrie Tashawn Washington. <laughs> Riley Elizabeth Weaver. Yep, Rosalia Faye Webb. Taiwan Wang. <laughs> J. Quinn Michael Wright White. <laughs> Matthew Brian White.
Madison Isabel Whitmore. Gabrielle Lynn Williams. Matthew C. Williams. Kylie Jade Wilson Honors. Vincent Edward Winsner. Grace Mary Vizhnevsky. Tristan Michael Witt. Peter Francis Wojcik. Julia Kathleen Wyatt. Lania Monique Wynn. Haley Linan Marie Yang. Karsten Hardy Eunice. Amanda Faith Zamieski Honors. Joslyn Marie Zapata. Jada Renee Zarucha. Brigetta Faith Zuck. <laughs> Allison Margaret Anastas, highest honors. Molly Claire Anderson, highest honors. Ellie Louise Belmore, highest honors. Ashton Andrew Hollowa, honors. Julia Lynn Dillenbeck, honors. Adelie Grace Dombrowski, honors. Isabella Thea Elsie, honors. Angelina Star Fuller, honors. Derek Tejuko Garcia, honors. Baron. Ethan Barond Gates, honors. McKenna Taylor Goss, honors. Emily Ray Grimm, honors. Rose Madeline Gutierrez, honors. Allison Christine Hill, highest honors. Hi, Jay, got cut off, but you know who I am. <laughs> Janaya Elise Hunt, honors. <laughs> Fariel Jamil, honors. Hi, 
Terrence Tyron Johnson Jr. Honors. Peyton Ann Noel Honors. Jessica Rose Kolka, highest honors. Taylor Susan Lingar, honors. Emily Rose Lingerfelt, highest honors. Aaliyah Catalina Magni, highest honors. Ashlyn Jade McCauley, honors. Abigail Raquel Miller, honors. Caleb Lewis Morissette, honors. Stella Sophia Mulrennan, highest honors. Sophia Claire Novacheski, highest honors. Emma Christine Ottinger, highest honors. Zaria Danae Pitts, honors. Sydney Nance Piper, honors. Brooke Morgan Pataki, highest honors. Rachel Helen Jing Rahaman, honors. Austin Gerald Scott. Joseph Michael Sullivan, honors. Shay Patrick Tackett, honors. And Leah Catherine Wilson, honors. All right, right? Another round of applause for these awesome people, 2002 graduates, congratulations. <laughs> graduates, today, this week, this month, many students, just like yourselves, will be graduating high school throughout the United States. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, 3.3 million students will graduate this year from high school. A daunting and staggering number indeed. Each class will be filled, just like this one, with insanely talented students. You heard a little bit about them tonight. In terms of their talent, though, I will put this class up against any class in the United States, hands down. The class of 2022 is an impressive group of talented individuals. Although our students are insanely talented, I'd be doing them a disservice if that was my only focus. 
You see, talent is not what separates you from the masses graduating this year. Here's a secret, and this secret will carry you throughout your life. The secret to success and happiness is an unwavering, unrelenting, take no prisoners work ethic. Your work ethic, attitude, and resiliency will carry you much further than talent ever could. The road to success is littered with talented people who at first sign of adversity or hard times gave up. However, if you look at those who are truly happy and those who have defined success for themselves, the road to success is paved with those who never gave up. You have already started to ingrain that quality by making it here tonight. Your parents, guardians, and others who will guide you in life after high school also know this to be true. So, as you leave here tonight and celebrate with your well-deserved achievements with your family, keep in mind how you set yourself apart from others. Your hard work, attitude, resiliency is what will carry you. It always will. Class of 2022, your Husky spirit will always remain at Lakeview High School long after this day. The relationships you forged, the experiences you shared, and the dreams you dreamt as a class will forever remain. So go out, dream your dreams, and do not quit until you have accomplished what you have set out to do. Congratulations to the class of 2022. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the Student Council President, Mackenzie Brown. <laughs> Mackenzie is the daughter of Stephanie and Timothy. At Lakeview, Mackenzie was part of Student Council for four years. Mackenzie was also varsity dance team captain and was member of the track team for four years. Mackenzie will be attending Ferris State University on a dance scholarship in the fall and will major in nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, Mackenzie Brown. Will the class of 2022 please rise? Having met the requirements for graduation established by Lakeview Public Schools, I present to you the graduates of Class of 2022.